Hey folks, please enjoy this clip from our show, which you can find every single day at 4 p.m. Eastern exclusively on Rumble. We've been doing the best shows we've ever done, completely free of censorship and on a platform that actually supports us. You can also support us on Locals where you can access a ton of exclusive content, movie riffs, as well as an archive of over a thousand full episodes going back as far as seven years. We've also teamed up with Merch Engine to bring you a new lineup of really awesome quality shirts, hoodies, and now even hats. So come check out our untested uncensored show on Rumble every single weekday at 4 p.m. Eastern. You stupid idiots. Rip a rip a verse goalpost, whatever that is. Um, saw our clip and took a little segment of us making fun of uh, uh, Yar the Yaria trailer. Um, uh, it's Yaira, dude. All right. How do you say it? I don't know. I I I I, I read. It, it was supposed to be the it blow. Uh, okay. <laughs> God, it's so bad. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Adopt or die. Right, right, right. So so they... Yeah, they, she's they... the archaic archaeologist. So, uh, that, uh... Dude, that was the part that was the most egregious, is the part where he's like, yeah. archaeology, huh? That's a bit archaic. And I'm like, yeah, it's in the word, asshole. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking moron. <clears throat> so, um... Saska sisters. They they were making fun of us. Uh, I don't even remember what they said. I don't care. Um, uh, you know the typical thing that ripetards say. Oh, they're jealous. Oh, they hate women. Oh, you know. okay. By the hate women. First stuff, of it's all, like, yes, right. Yeah, right about the hating women. The hating women. Jealous? No. Hating women? Yes. I'm I'm not jealous because I I ne jealous is a dumb thing. I never wanted to be a comic book writer. Like that's why would I be jealous of something I've never aspired to be. You know what I mean? It's like it's like being like, you know, Mersh, you're just you're just jealous of Guy Fieri because he's successful. He's a successful chef. Mersh, like, I never wanted to be a chef. Why would I be jealous of him? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm jealous of his sweet cars and his Look, frosted tips. And you can make fun of that guy all you want, but he had some of the dopest food. Like, it was so bad for you, but it was the dopest food. I'll be honest. Like, anytime I see fucking um, like Guy Fieri's food, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'd eat it. You're like, I would yeah. eat that. Oh no, you'd be like, fuck out wow, of he's so white trash. Okay, but you don't want a you don't want a cheddar stuffed burger with bacon yeah, on yeah, it. Bro. Fuck right off. <laughs> the eat... fucking garbage can nachos, dude. Oh my god, I'd eat the shit out of those. Yeah, I would eat anything Guy Fieri made. I wouldn't let him dress Absolutely. me. Absolutely, no, no, no. <laughs> but I would eat his food. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, somebody pointed out in in the replies earlier on Twitter. Yeah. So if we if us making fun of Eric July and and the Ripaverse makes us jealous, right? Yeah. And their entire economy is based on criticizing DC and Marvel. Does that mean you guys are jealous of DC and Marvel? Yeah. Of oh course. God, yes, they are. <laughs> I, I was I was telling Virgie because Virgie go Virgie goes something Ethan Van Skyver said and he's hundred percent right. It's like even the worst Marvel comic book is better than anything in the Ripaverse. Even the worst Marvel comic book. And I said no 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 no. Even the worst Dark Horse comic is better than everything. And Virgie goes, even the best Image comic is worse than anything. And then was like, mm -hmm. even the best Vertigo, com worst Vertigo comic <laughs> is better. It's bad. It's bad writing. And you can make, you could say that we're jealous. Of I never wanted to be a comic book writer, you stupid fags. I don't really fucking care. But this whole, oh, they just hate women. Yeah, we do hate women. But what, you don't? Like, honestly, these are the same people that fucking lose, fucking kill themselves. These people, rightfully so, because where were we? We're completely tomahawk dunking on Brie Larson because she's a bitch and she's a dumb whore. And you can, they were all making fun of her. But now when you make fun of your Brie Larson, look, say what you want about shitty, ugly feet, regular Brie Larson, and we don't even like her. At least you can speak English. You know? Mm-hmm. Death blow. Death blow. Yeah. So I don't want to hear from these fucking ripetard fucking retards. But what you we look like a chump. <sighs> it was so bad, bro. It was so bad. Nobody, nobody liked it. Nobody liked it. Um, that's, that's not true. I saw a few people that liked it. There's nobody that didn't give him money that likes it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Have you seen one person who hasn't given him money one way or the other that liked it? Because I haven't. The all thing you, is, is I'm not playing is what it is. The problem is all you guys pretend like you want this is. weird that you guys are so above it, right? You guys are, but you guys go so hard the other way. It, it, it is retarded to me that I don't just want 
to like something because it agrees with my political views because no, I would just want stuff to be good. And these comic books are like, but I'm not coming out of nowhere. Like, man, I, I, I read comics a bunch as a kid. Like, I was a comic book nerd as a kid. I love them. I love them. I fucking love comics when I was young. I had long boxes, all that shit. I know. I didn't get laid. But, you know, but whatever. But it's, it, it, this isn't good writing. The writing is bad. It's, it, 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 you're, you're growing too fast. That's something that should be noted is, you're 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 spreading yourself too thin already. You you could say that we're jealous. You could make fun of the way we look, but please don't, because then we'll point out what he looks like, and, and that's not a fun game to play. Okay, it's not. Yeah, it it, it really isn't. He, he's a dumb dumb man, and and you could share your goal posting if you want on your little fucking page, or it's got to be a chick, right? Or we, first you were talking. It's got to be either a chick or tranny that runs that rip of It's a tranny. Post. It's a tranny. It's got to be because that's not a man. That's not like a man behavior, right? Because no dude, no dude I know would be like they just hate women. Not on the right anyway. No dude on the right because even the guys on the left that say that 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 they like women, they're just doing it so they get laid, right? No dude I know on the right be like they just hate women. That is something leftists do. That is leftist gay ass behavior. Your shit fucking sucked. Your shit sucked. Uh, but you know what I have, Mersh? I have. I have. You didn't like when she flew six feet in the air and then six feet down? I have the making of it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I've been holding on to this one since yesterday. I have the making of it. Thank you, Pessy, by the way. Oh, Marvel? Great. We get to see how something I never wanted to see in the first place was made. Right, right, right. Like Rosie O'Donnell's parents having sex. Mm. Or Rosie O'Donnell having sex. Castlevania. That's See, twi it's Twisted Twin production. Right, those right. Here's what it is. Uh those two grave sites, which by the way, that's what they're called. Those two grave sites, uh right there. <laughs> those two uh 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 d dead uh grandparent spots. Yeah, those two grave sites, those are the Sasuke sisters. Uh they died from scissoring each other too hard. I actually read that. It's the entire plot line of the third of the third Yaria. Fuck. What's it called? Yara? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's stupid. I, I don't know. Why are you naming your people like command and conquer villains? <sighs> That's Gabe Hoffman's buddies. Bro, talk about taking your fucking self too seriously. They really, he really loves to suck his own dick, huh? Yeah. Bro, they're doing like a mini doc. Is this what this is? A mini doc? I haven't watched yes. any of it on purpose. Yes, it's basically that. I just love the fact that a man who is barely literate decided he wanted to get into writing books. Wow. And why would you, why would you spend all your production money in Canada? Why wouldn't you spend it in America? So yeah, that's kind of, conservative. Yeah, what's what's for that about? I am a conservative. I'm a libertarian when it suits me. <laughs> yeah. I'm Eric July, founder. I can tell. It's a stupid voice. Owner of Riververse, creator of Isom, Yaira. And some he other just people. sounds like a moron. Because he's a moron. No, I know, but I mean, he's so... God, every time he talks, he has such a distinctly moronic voice. Yeah. He he's a black Texas dude that thought he was going to get famous off of belly dancing and hardcore music. Yeah. Yeah. So tale is old. Tale is old this time, Virgie. <laughs> <laughs> so characters of this entire universe. I My name is here. Eric July, and if there was any justice in this world, I'd be working at a Bucky's. I mean, seriously. <laughs> nah, a Wawa. <laughs> Yeah. That's here, but I would not. Uh, Bucky's has standards. Working on Yaira has been amazing to be. Oh, yeah. You know they do butt stuff. Oh, yeah. With like, each other. And also, The Undertaker should sue them for their shirts. I, I really think so. Well, let's not open Gifted up that door. Opportunity to be let's not open up the door of wrestlers her... suing people over shirt design. Fair enough. Fair enough. That we are her nannies. <laughs> Eric July gave birth to her, and then he's like, <laughs> I need a strong female influence times two. 
wow, a strong female influence. Th this is exactly the stuff you complain that Marvel does to your movies, you faggots. Yeah, they're really just becoming what they hate. This is the quickly. same thing. Listen, if you if, if they would have replaced Eric July, if this sentence right here, this sentence, right? Right here. Has been amazing to be gifted the opportunity to be her writers. <laughs> I consider that we are her nannies. <laughs> Eric July gave birth to Marvel gave birth to her. Her and then he's like, <laughs> I need a strong female. And then they were like, I need a strong female. Kathleen Kennedy told us that we need a strong female lead. Female influence times two. Really? That sounds really based, boys. Well, how is that any different? Why do you need women to direct something for women? You've literally had entire arguments that you don't need that. You, they're the you guys are the same thing as Marvel. My problem is Marvel was too woke, and then they also weren't paying me. Oh, that makes sense. So now I'm getting paid. Action! Why are you yelling? Oh, because because they're not kissing. It's been my longest childhood dream to be able to give. It's your longest childhood dream to be less ugly. That should have been your dream. Yeah. It's been my longest childhood dream to be able to give a future Oh, that's why they both buried their face in pregnant women pussy when they were fucking doing their movies. Yeah, so that way you wouldn't see yeah. how fucking ugly they were. Oh, yeah, I Yeah, yeah. If I was if I'm on Suboxone and smoke weed but I'm clean, look like sisters. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> it's like if you distilled every woman in a methadone clinic line. Uh-huh. They shoot, they both they're both like the only two girls that work in an auto zone. <laughs> <laughs> they both look like women who don't have custody of their kids. That's correct. Yep. Sorry, guys. Guys, we just we're being mean to women. We don't want the Riververse, the, the little Riververse nannies to come and yell at us. Don't yell at us. Oh no, we're making fun of women. No, 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 no. We're making fun of these women. Mm hmm. And also all women too. You could say add that. I don't care. Yeah, fuck those bitches. I got from comic books. Like <clears throat> these women and these men, they taught me how to be strong. They taught me how to have morals and morals. Was that in lieu of a father? Not because like you're afraid of like hell, but. Yo, Booster Gold braised them because your dad left. <laughs> 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 See, I do know old. Co I know references for comic books. I'm not somebody who doesn't know. Doing the right thing because it's the right thing. I feel bad do. for the chick who plays Yai right now because like her her career is over before it even started. Oh yeah. 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 Well, I don't think. I and you know what? Anywhere. She might be an okay actress, she's dude. Not. But when you're being she's directed not. She's not. by fucking shut up, shut up. I'm trying to shit she on. Can't even walk more. right. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even walk right. She can't even walk. Do the Vince McMahon walk when she's walking. Yeah. Well, what I do mean, you do? No got... chance. No chance in hell. I mean, when you got two piss drinking fucking twin sass sisters fucking directing you, telling you uh, okay, fucking. Okay, Virgie, when you say harder. it that way, it's First gross. Of all, Virgie, calm down, okay? Because my dick can only get so Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> we can't come during the show. Yeah, I mean, right after. Not again. That's what locals is for. That's what that break at the top of the hour is for. For us to come. Yeah. Quick jack sesh. Yeah, and then the, the other three minutes are just for us to relax before we start. Whole new generation, man. You gotta make time to do tributes, bro. Uh, Chuck Norris Gun Club said no merch. They filmed this on purpose and they released it to the public. <coughs> Forever Two Wheels. I bet Eric could have gotten Kathy Griffin on the cheap. Yeah, that's right. Maybe it's a villain. Uh, Imagine I'm hiring an entire film crew to interview you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's not like somebody came in and went, we want to do a documentary about this. It's like you hired people and then you say they set up a camera and you sat there and you were like, we're not founded Ripaverse. <laughs> like, it's, it's just so it's so gay. Not only the characters brought to life, that in itself is unbelievable. But there's certain. Yeah, dude, we're literally made... watching Eric July like mentally masturbate. Yeah. Right now. That's all this is. This is him beating his dick in film form. Yeah, it's him sucking his own cock adaptations for what what it was happening in the comics and that's just crazy to me to see that play out and be brought brought to life in the way that it is it's brought it we brought it a lot unbelievable like i said it's something that i can't i don't know if i'm ever going to get get used to it i'm fine with that because it's an amazing experience when you see uh, when, when they, everything set up makeup all uh costume everything and they're like that's a character he's like a kid going to work with his dad and then they interview the kid yeah 
Yeah. He honestly, I even noticed last night the way he talks. He talks like, like a like a twelve year old black kid. Yeah, he does. Like yeah. like 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 it's just unbelievable to me. And he's such a white black guy too. Great. Walking on set and seeing Yaira off the panels. That's like the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah. By the way, let me be clear because also the rip a goalpost tranny that runs it. Let me be clear here. Guys, smash still, obviously. So Absolutely, before, I'd smash that Amazonian shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Don't be gay I'm either. We're sorry, not gay. Bro. We're not gay. Bitch, bitch look like a crimson chin up in this motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm, for I'm sorry. Capital I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Virg thinks, Virgie thinking a woman who could take a punch is bad. Get out of here. Yeah, Off Virgie, you're That's talking to a guy point. who wanted to fuck Tessa Blanchard. Uh-huh. So it's not going to work on me. And Nia Jax. Oof. That's like the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> yeah, I love doing stunts because I, I do. It makes me feel like a superhero, honestly. I feel like... Really? You feel, feel like a superhero? Because you look like a retard. You look like a dumbass. I feel like, you know, we got we got the pulse rate going, a little heart rate going a little bit. Is it's everyone on the know. set retarded? Yeah, 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 yeah. And also they filmed the No, band. but I mean, they sound like they have literal brain damage. Uh-huh. Normal. Hey Jim, you're in Vancouver. Did you show up to the set? I think that it's just it's such a creative, you know, universe that that Eric has created. Uh, having it's such a, it's creative, a creative universe, universe that, that Eric, you created. That Say Eric create more created. asshole. Oh god, these guys are awesome. Yaira. It's weird you know, how feminine fucking Yaira looks in those test shots and how she ended up being this big brawny bitch. Right. Like now and like her con. Have you seen some of the panels of it? Dude? Yes, yeah, they're showing it right now. As as the lead in this is is something that a lot of people are gonna be able to look up to, do. and it's just kind of a, a cool twist. You know, it's such an original universe. She it's looks not. like Wonder Woman. No, she looks like Killer Frost. When you've got DC and Marvel kind of owning the the planet. I think that he's come up in the middle and shown there's, a, there's an audience for the alternates to, to DC and Marvel. And he's really an amazing artist. He's, uh, the fact that Is he's he? created this because he just wanted to make a comic book and then... It, it, can you find me anyone who can say that that isn't on his payroll? Not that I... No, I don't think so. So much interest in him and in what he's doing. Well, or, or, or the people that, that aren't on his payroll but they use his clout. Like anybody on that crew of like when there's 50 people on that nerd show, I don't I forget which one, but like all of them will defend him. He, he went from Friday gold night tights, 100, 000, isn't it? Sure. Thousand to okay. what was it? Two million, whatever it made. Uh, it, it, that's pretty amazing. And I think he's he's a very cool guy. And I think uh, I'm honored to be part of it. Fans are gonna feel so excited when they watch this teaser. They're gonna. <laughs> were they? But were they? <laughs> Jesus. The comments are going to be nothing but people suck. Latch onto yeah. these characters and the story. They're going to fucking, excuse my language, they're going to fucking want more. Writing from. Oh, I, let, me, let me be clear here. Yes, still smash. Yes, I want more. But not for the reasons that these other people want more, okay? I really want to see how far this goes. Marvel is what introduced us to Eric July. And I want I a remember whole season, dude. For uh, knowing that he was like, he's a huge comic nerd. And so people are like, oh, we sent his or your comic to him to just to see what he would say. And everyone was like, oh, you're going to get ripped apart. And I was like, no, I think this guy's going to like it. And Eric loving that was so cool. And that's how we kind of became friends. So every time we would write an issue, we partially wrote it in mind being like, oh, I bet this Eric July guy is going to review it. I want it to be really boss. And I want. This is all bullshit. Eric July has no fucking background in this up until. Like a, a year ago, maybe two, right? No, he's been no. doing comic book reviews and shit for a not good reviews, look. not reviews, not reviews. You mean actual writing and making comics, or working <laughs> yeah, like two in two years, or, or working in the comic book industry? You know, I, I I don't understand this. I would care if like Frank Miller liked my comic, but you know what I mean. I would care if Ethan Van Skyver liked my comic book. Like, I, I go down the names of people that I would be like, wow, I respect that comic book. The reason you like him is because he's the only one who said, that's fucking cool. Yeah. You want a job? I'll pay you. Yeah. 
I want him to really dig it. I'm a distribution company now. Working with Eric and getting to develop a friendship and just, he's a guy that we text at four in the morning. Do you? Really? What do you text him? Was this before or after you tweeted about intersectional feminism being the future of mankind or like going to fucking communist shit? Or taking pictures of kids from rape vans. Or yeah. maybe, or maybe well, just them both going fucking, uh, both going uh, half on uh, double dong dildo at the same time. Maybe he's into that. I don't know. And I ask like, hey, how tall is Altona? <laughs> You know, and is she nearsighted or farsighted? And he's so cool about it. Because he didn't know. It's like he had no background on these characters. and He kind of just made it up on the spot. That's their idea of character development. Are they nearsighted or farsighted? Yeah, that's important. And you can tell he actually cares. I was really stoked to see the illustrations of Stefania first. And you can just almost it helps you imagine the character because it's so well thought out before and you're like, okay, cool. Is it? I can you look nothing like the character. Yeah. See what kind of damage this character can Plus do. Plus her face, her, her like <coughs> face makeup looks like a fucking county fair, like fucking face painting booth. No, no, but let's go even more. Something else. Let's think. It little... looks like Samoa Joe when he had the dick on his face. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let's go in a little bit more about this. Imagine Check the character because it's this. so well thought out before. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't pay you enough to shave the side of your head like the character, though, right? No, no. Ah. Oh, not enough for money for that, huh? Um, and you're like, okay, cool. I can see what kind of damage this character can do and how destructive she can be, but also has this really human... It's literally, you're literally in, like, one half a second scene and you're getting your shit pushed in. <laughs> what no, are you talking no, about? You're right, you're, you're right, but you know, you know, what, you know what's... Re for me, and I've been trying to figure out what's... What what really bugs me about this video, not the whole thing in general, but just like this video, what bugs me. There are people that have made some amazing stuff, and I'm talking about movies, comics, all this and that, whatever. And they had to earn making a little documentary about a making of something, right? Mm -hmm. They're do they're already going, they're already knew we were going to film a little mini doc because it's going to be so great. We're going to film a little mini doc to show how fucking great we are. Right? You're using your resources should be used on making the comic book. Honestly, you should just be making. Did you see his tweet about like, oh yeah, uh, that had nothing to do with the price of the book or whatever? He's like, yeah, that that didn't. Uh, what did he say? The trailer like wasn't part What's of the cost of business or whatever. Yeah, we and got like that fucking, one. And Dick Masterson's like, yeah, it is priced into the comic book. You fucking asshole! It's the whole point. How business works. What's up, y'all? I'm just checking in with my channel and other forms of social media since it's been a crazy lunch for Yaira, number one. We've hit a million dollars in lunch? 24 hours, which broke the ISOM number two <laughs> record, and I'm so grateful for that. With that being said, before it gets too crazy, I have to clarify some things. For starters, we're getting through the benchmark goals that you all breezed right through. One thing people are excited for is all the All this Yaira asshole talks about is money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a black guy. Statue that gets unlocked <laughs> should we hit two. Oh, no, we hate black people, too. Rip a suck. Shove it up your ass. Go post. Shove it right up your ass. Yeah, How's that sound? goal post. Yeah, call us racist, too. And we're homophobic. Add that to your list. Million dollars in sales. This is not something that we already have ready, though. We've had some interesting. This is not something ready. We've already had ready. Conversations about this do not anticipate that this would be added to the campaign and shipped with you want to be able to talk smart so bad, don't you? You just yeah. want to you feel it the campaign items. We're just saying that items we would commit to putting one out and it's something that would be delivered at a much later date. I'm not going to say that the pre-order for it couldn't possibly be announced before this campaign ends, but we're not promising that. But whatever we do put up for sale. Is gonna be legit. Secondly, I want to clarify some things about the Yaira number one campaign trailer. It's not a trailer for an upcoming show or film that. Thank fucking God! Because no network would pick that up. Not even the Daily Wire. Not even CW Streaming. Yeah, fucking serious CW Streaming. Yeah, not even that. In the works. The one that fucking. It went out on the two, early 2000s, like all the. Uh, 
all, all the all the side characters like had a little 15 minute mini series on cw.com or whatever yeah this was done specifically to promote the comic book and build some hype around it it was shot on what is effectively a shoestring budget and it only took us a day to shoot there were a lot of favorites called that's in to not make a bragging that's not a thing you should brag about it looks like it took a day to shoot i'll be honest with you this happened <laughs> and to put this into perspective it costs only a fraction of what we've spent on our give me a number animations so give me a number how much some people have mistakenly assumed that this is a oh i don't assume okay i accuse aggressively <sighs> i make wild baseless accusations that's right i flail my arms <laughs> i make wildly libelous statements about people <laughs> I'm kind of, of a verbal hardcore dancer. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. Something that's going to be longer form. But this is a trailer for a comic book, not a trailer for something. Why is there form. a trailer for a comic Why book? Why does a comic book need a trailer? <laughs> M maybe this is something new. I I'm assuming Marvel and DC are probably doing trailers. He doesn't do anything. as well. He's probably doing whatever they do. I don't ever. Do you ever remember like I don't ever remember comic books having a trailer. It's weird, right? I mean, like maybe like some mild, like they take like a pan, like you know, like a fucking little like cheap shitty animation where they'll take a panel and move some shit around or something. No, no, no. I mean but live like action. This. I mean live no, action. Never. Have you ever? Why would you do that? It makes no sense because it doesn't. All right, if you're trying to build hype for the comic, like first of all, like you start off with Isom's story, which is fucking retarded. But how do you build hype for a comic? By not showing the art, by not showing shit that happens in the comic, but you know what I mean? Like this is shit that all, all I don't, it's just fucking it's stupid, dude. This whole fucking thing is retarded. We go about this completely differently if this was a film or a show, regardless of the budget. If you would made a show, oh, no, I don't want to do. I don't want to. Please um, make a show. You know Let what he's rephrase. saying. Please make a show. You know if what he's saying. They're here? gonna make a show. Yeah, he's saying here that. If we make a show, guys, it'll be better be than this better garbage. Than this. It'll be better than yeah. this garbage. Let's see. Let's see. I love for us to do longer form animations and live actions and run it through our up live actions. Coming Ripaverse app. We have a lot of Ripaverse app. There's an app. app. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't come with an Eric July Tamagotchi where I feed him chicken bones, I don't even want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> Eric July Tamagotchi app. Can we develop <laughs> that? That would probably be cheap to make. In that regards, but at that point, it's a different ball game because then we're not making something that's for comic book hype. We'd be making something that's a little more self-contained <laughs> and meant to stand on its own. Some people hey, Eric, have said, "Eric, please make a show." That's what I said. I would love nothing more. Please make a show. I don't think Tom Welling is doing anything. If Hollywood put this out, you look at it differently. Well, yes, I know I would. And Michael Rosenbaum's just doing a podcast. You could probably get him too. Oh my god, his the podcast sucks. Oh, it's so bad. It's yeah. so bad. Have you you've seen it? It's so bad. Oh, it's a bunch of L.A. recovery therapy yeah. talk. <sighs> I think I'm done with. It. I, I can only. It's, it's, it's just after a while, right? You're like enough. Uh, I like how his whole argument is. You gotta grade me on a scale, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. He 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 wants affirmative action score. He wants an affirmative. Action. See, that's the thing behind. is, I don't have as much money as Marvel at DC. Plus, I'm retarded. That retarded thing is the big part of it. I think. Yeah.